Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at the pop-up menu button. So simply put, when you, you know, initiate this button, it reveals a pop-up menu that you can, you, know, you can obviously select item from. Okay, so what we are going to do outside of here, we're going to create an enum. And I can get rid of these two variables, they're from before. So an enum, and we're going to call this white father. And this is going to have some random data. This is, a, this is an example that I'm using. Obviously, you can change this as you need to. Self data trading charter. Okay, so we need. Do we need anything else? Oh, sorry, this needs to be outside of the class. So we can put it there or at the top anywhere outside of the class is fine. In here, you can add a child, and it is going to be a pop. Up menu button and we'll handle the item builder in a second but before this we need to specify like the type and this is going to be white father and inside of here we're going to say on selected so we've got two events on selected and on cancelled so on selected I'm going to say white father uh, and this is basically going to be the result we're going to say set state so you'll change the state itself and we are going to say underscore selection underscore oh sorry we just need to create a variable here and this will allow us just to essentially keep tra track of what's happening so we could say the you know, white father underscore selection variable and obviously you know this could be, you don't have to use this, it could be a string for example, but we're just going to use it like this. And we're going to say underscore selection equals result. And obviously you can do, you know, any other code that you want here as well once you've selected particular item. We're not fussed about that. Now we're going to go into the item builder. Item builder, build context, context. An arrow operator and here we're gonna say pop up menu entry and this is gonna be you know using the wife of renom and here we're gonna put square bracket and this is where we're basically going to build up the item. So the four items you can just put const pop up menu item you specify wait a second specify the enum so y father and inside we're going to say value is y father the harder you know we're just going to do this for each single one child is going to be text we could have something else as a child or it's going to keep it simple and display some text i'm going to say working a lot harder and to save some time because the rest are essentially just modification of this i'm going to duplicate this so two, three, and four. So we got pop-up menu item Y father. So this is going to be smarter working being a lot. So we're going to put being a lot smarter. This one is going to be self starter. Being a self starter. And this one is going to be trading charter. And this one's going to be placed in charge of trading charter. Of the trading charter. Let's save it or hot reload and let's see what we get. So at the moment, that's what we get these three buttons. And we can, you know, open them up. And that's it. So we could obviously put this within our app bar as an extra task. What I want you to figure out, you know, to put it right here. You can modify the icon as well. So it's pretty here. If I put icon, so we could do icon, icons dot, oh, let's do add, for example. Uh, what's this saying? What's this saying?
Okay, and instead we've got the add button that provides this pop-up menu item now, but it's totally, you know, up to us. Let me just show you something else. What we could do is let's do a print here so we can actually see that we're, you know, getting the different selection. So if I save that, and if you pay attention down here, if I open that up, click being our smarter, we get the smarter one. If I click on, we should get the charter one, we get charter, etc, etc. You can change the icon. This is fantastic for essentially concealing some information, but it's not a selector like a drop down necessarily, but it could be used to maybe go to a separate page. So if you have a contact page, you know, like in a contact app, you have a list of contacts, you open up the contact, you could have one of these you know, buttons, I'm gonna get rid of this because it's better with the three dots, it looks better. So you could have something like this, you click on it, it could say edit, it could say delete, it could say share, for example, and that would, you know, in itself, so here you would have some sort of if statement, some sort of check to see what the actual, you know, pop-up menu item has been selected. And from that, you could, you know, go to the share menu, you could go to the edit page, you could go, you know, maybe show the delete dialog box. And, you know, that way you could proceed through your application. But that's it for the pop-up menu button. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.